This is how to sign up for Pearson MyLab and Mastering for Statistics 201. The first thing you want to do is go to the site. Now that you're on the site, go to Student. After clicking on Student, you will find yourself on the registration page. On this registration page, you might want to scroll down a little bit and find the OK Register Now. After you click this button, you'll be prompted for your course ID. This is supplied by your instructor. Make sure to copy down the one for your course and copy it down correctly. This is the course ID for my course, Brian Stevens, Statistics 201, Spring 14. Do not enter this code if it is not yours. Use the one for your course. After we've entered it, we can double check to make sure we've entered in the right course over here. It is very, very important that this is the right course because eventually you will be paying for this and you want to make sure you are in the right course. At this point, you will need to either create a Pearson account or use your existing account. Click the Create button if you do not have an account, but if you believe you already do have an account, use your existing account. We'll enter in UTK 201 student and go with that. Once you have your account, you'll be prompted with a few options. You can immediately pay for the account. You can use an access code oftentimes obtained from the bookstore or sometimes obtained online. You can also pay for it right out using a credit card or PayPal. Many people will choose to defer payment and go ahead and go with the 14-day trial. Now there's something very important once you do the 14-day trial. When you log in with the 14-day trial, you'll be prompted at the bottom with the option to actually pay for the account. Do not sign up twice. We'll see this in just a second here. When you want to pay for your course, use this current account that you have. Right here, you will be able to pay for the course. It'll bring you back to the page we just saw with the options to use an access code or pay. To repeat, once you have your course, you do not need to re-register you will click the button on the previous page to pay for the course. Even after it's expired, you can click the button there and pay for the course this way. Do not create a second account. 